All right, good morning to you. We are on test day, as you know. So let's do, I got to finish 7-1 though. Is that where I'm at? We take the exam today, tomorrow. I got to do 8-1 and boom, we're done. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's do that. Let's strive to finish 7-1. We'll do this in about hmm, 25 minutes, huh? All right. So here we go. So tangent inverse. So we're going to take uh, part one of the exam, number four, in the last 25 minutes. So tangent inverse. Did we do this one last time? Uh, this is... So which numbers did we work on last time? One through five? Yeah. Because I got my last one point. So Alex is saying one through five. And you're saying only number one, Barbara? Only number one. Yeah. one. Only number one. Is that all we did was number one? My notes ends here. <laughs> the answer should be 1.42. Right? Did we do more than number one? No? You have one through five as well. Sounds like we did one through five. All right. So <clears throat> tangent inverse of negative 6.4. That's a hit the buttons on your calculator. Oh, yeah, never mind. So try that out. You got to make sure you're in radian mode, though. So I'll go down to radian mode. Tangent inverse of negative 6.4. I'm getting negative 1.4157995585. You know, on and on it goes. How many places? It says round to the hundredths. So the hundredths is the second place. Look one to the right. That means round up minus 1.42. Yes. Okay. That's fine. You able to get that? Right. That's gotcha. Is that good on the calculator? <laughs> All right, if you have any trouble with that, come see me. I'm going to move on. Okay, tangent inverse of tangent. So now, last time we talked about the whole um, reason, one-to-oneness, and the limited inverses for sine, cosine, and tangent, right? That when we take an inverse sine, cosine, or tangent, we're taking the inverse of a limited sine, cosine, or tangent, right? And then we go through that whole spiel. Okay, so tangent. Tangent inverse of tangent. What do you think? Aside from all fancy math talk for a minute, what, what would you just think? Just right, right. Wouldn't that be the normal, what we expect to happen? They just cancel each other out, and so the answer should just be negative 7 pi over 18, right? But that's not what happens. That's often what happens, <laughs> but not always what happens. Now, why? I mean, I mean, does it seem so reasonable? <laughs> the problem is because is tangent inverse the tangent inverse for all trig value, for all angles? No. no, that's the whole spiel I gave you last time. Only when you're inverting sine, cosine, or tangent, you have to remember it's not the inverse of the entire tangent, right? That's that whole spiel I gave you last time. That wasn't just blah blah blah, Charlie Brown teacher talking. <laughs> I hope that came through because it is now going to be tested. Uh, Did you really get that? Did that really come home for you? I hope so. <laughs> we'll see on the so here's the basic deal. So the tangent inverse of the tangent of any angle theta, is it just theta? Yes. It's, just, it's equal to theta when theta is in the restricted zone. Remember I talked about restricted zone. I said inverse sine, cosine, and tangent are really not the inverse for the whole sine. Or they're not the inverse for the sine everywhere, or the cosine everywhere, or the tangent everywhere, only a restricted, limited. So, yeah, where? Where is the restricted zone for tangent? Does anybody remember? Yeah, so, so you, want, you do want to... It's best to memorize them because they come up in calculus all the time. I always have students say, Mr. Heron, I was hitting my buttons in the calculator and I did the... Inverse thing, and it came through the angle this way over a place. After a while, I would always just kind of look at them and go, uh-huh, remember we talked about that. It restricted, you know, they go, oh, that restricted thing again. Yeah, that restricted thing again. So, so you really want to know where those are at. So tangent inverse and sine inverse are negative pi over 2 to positive pi over negative 90 to positive 90. And cosine inverse is 0 to pi, or 0 to 180. So cosine inverse is the top two quadrants, quadrants 1 and 2. Tan inverse is 1 and 4. 
and sign, sign Emerson and Tanimers are one and four. So they go together. They, they're also both odd functions. That's how I memorize them. Sine and tangent are both odd, cosine's even. Sine and tan, both the right side quadrants, 1 and 4, negative 90 to positive 90 for the inverses and cosine inverses, the top two quadrants. So what that means is then, if the angle they're giving you, negative 7 pi over 18, is it between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2? Is it in the zone? Because if it's in the zone, then yeah. That, that's the answer. Don't even need to think twice. Is it in the zone? I don't know. Wait, would you have to subtract Why don't we just make them common denominator then we can compare them? Do you know what I mean? Let's just take this and multiply top and bottom by 9. Negative 9 pi over 18. And this, of course, multiply by 9 is 9 pi over 18. So the zone goes from negative 9 pi over 18 to positive 9 pi over 18. Pi over 2, right? Fancy way of saying pi over 2. So where is negative 7 pi over 18? If you had a number line, for, am I confusing you by changing the analogy now? Uh, if you have like a number line, say here's 0, here's negative 9 pi over 18, here's positive 9 pi over 18, where would negative 7 pi over 18 be? About right here. Yeah, it's between them. Right? Is it negative 7 pi over 18 between negative 9 and positive 9? So, yeah, that's the answer. Because it's in the zone. Does that make sense? Tangent and tangent inverse are the opposites of each other and cancel each other out for angles in the zone. Otherwise, tangent inverse doesn't act on things that aren't in the zone, and we got to do something else, which I'll show you. But if they're in the zone, yeah, just boom, they're just opposite of each other, cancel each other out. Make sense? So when it's in the restricted zone. Is that good? So you got to remember those restrictions. Sine inverse and tangent inverse, first and, uh, first and fourth quadrants, cosine inverse, first and second. Okay. But they're changing the angle. So go ahead, so ask yourself, is that, in fact, you know what you could use? You guys have that unit circle I gave out, right? That's on the front of your 3 by 5 card today, I hope. That picture of that unit circle. You've got about 10 minutes if you want to scribble it down, but you should most definitely, where, I have, where is it? There it is. Have that right now on the front of your, one side of your 3 by 5 card. That's the most important thing for today is part one, for sure. So make sure you have that on one side of your 3 by 5 card. So anyway, let's just find... Um, yeah, so that's an easy way. Huh? I don't need to mess around. Let's just find... What's the angle? Sub, 7 uh, pi over 8. 7 pi over 8? Okay. Oh, thank you. 7 pi over 8. Where is 7 pi over 8? Um, I don't see it. So we convert it. I guess we have to. So 7 pi over 8. So I'm going to take 7 pi over 8. I don't know what that is. Put in, I'm going to put in 180 to convert it right. Pi is 180. 7 times 180 over 8. And um, so we have. Be... I'm getting 157.5. <clears throat> so is that in the zone? 157. Is that in the zone for tangent inverse yeah. between negative 90 and positive 90? No, it's outside. The zone. It's in the no-fly zone. It's it's it, it. Tangent inverse doesn't go there. So it's not. The answer is not going to be seven pi over eight. So 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 the answer is not seven pi over eight. Okay, what is the answer? So that that just tells us what the answer is not. All that work was to say what the answer is not. It's not seven. Pi, you can't just cancel them and say it's seven pi over eight because tangent inverse says I don't go there. I don't go there. So what do we do then? Make 157 the, I remember from, from geometry, you make them equal to 180, all the different angles. And then from there, you find out <laughs> what's, Bless you. what's within the range of power two. Good, good. Yeah, you basically find the same, you find, um, you find the same spot in the zone. You find the same spot in the zone. What do I mean the same spot? Well, the same reference angle. Same reference angle. 
That's what you're describing is correct. So, so where is 7 pi over 8? What's well, 157.5? So where's 157? If you, if you look at this, here's the unit circle. This is 180, right? So it's just a, it's about here. 157. I'm kind of getting, I need a better picture. Let me come on down here. So, or uh, let me just make this bigger. So, yeah, 157.5 is almost to 180. And so we need to find the same reference angle. So well, here's 180. Here's 157. 157.5. So that angle, 157.5, is right here. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, how many degrees away from 180 is it? 22.5. So it's 22.5. You take 180 minus it. It's 22.5 degrees off the x-axis in the second quadrant. So, okay, so how do we find where in the zone is the same angle, right? Right here, here's the zone, first and fourth quadrants. Where in the first and fourth quadrant are you going to find the exact same spot? 360 minus two. It's going to be in, do you realize it's going to be in the fourth quadrant, not the first? It's going to be 22.5 down in the fourth. Why the fourth and not the first? Remember what we learned about, I'll give you two different ways. Um, remember we learned about the period of tangent? Tangent repeats himself every 180. Oh. Pi, yeah, pi, 180, right. Right? Whereas sine and cosine repeat themselves every 2 pi. The period for sine and cosine is 2 pi. The period for pi is 180. So if you go halfway around 180 pi, you're getting the same values again, huh? So if you go halfway around, so if you go 180, you're getting the same values. So I'm going to... I'm going to subtract 180. I'm going to take the 7 pi over 8 and subtract pi. Why subtract? You could add pi, but you won't be in the zone. Am I confusing you? Yeah, let, yeah, let me do it right first, and I'll explain why this is right and something else is wrong. This will give us the right answer. So you've got to subtract pi. How do you subtract pi? Common denominator, make it 8 pi over 8. You good to there so far? Plus. Right? This Because this is over 1. I multiply top and bottom by 8. So then that's minus 1 pi over 8. You with me so far? Am I completely losing you? How are we doing? So why did I subtract pi? Because if you add or subtract pi, you're in the same, you're just a half a circle away, which the period of tangent is pi. He repeats himself every half circle away. Right? So let me write that up. Because you got you to know a few key facts. The period of tangent is pi. So if you add or subtract a half a circle, add or subtract pi, you're going to be the same thing. So I subtracted pi. Got over here. This is the angle negative pi over 8, negative 225 degrees. That's our answer. Now, why couldn't I have added pi? Because you'd be out of the zone. If you, if you took 7 pi over 8 and you added pi, that would have been 8 pi over 8. You would have got 15 pi over 8. See, that, that's the same spot. That's this same spot, yes, but it's saying it in a way that's not between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. They want it said. Tangent inverse wants it said between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. Am I making any sense? I know this is confusing. This takes some time. This is what they mean when they say college <laughs> classes take two hours outside for every one hour inside. I never did that for my GEs. But I had to do that for my math and science. I had to spend time beating my head against the wall over things like this. Hours going, why, what, what? And going by my teacher's office hours and asking about things until I got it. So if you're not getting this, I'd be glad to talk more with, with you about it later. But i got to move on. So the period of tangent is pi. You could add or subtract pi. If I add pi, I get a number that's not in the negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2 zone which has got to be for tangent inverse. So I subtract pi, get negative pi over 8. That is in the zone. That's the same angle said in the zone as our, as our thing. So that's the real answer. The answer is negative pi over 8, which is really 7 pi over 8. Does everybody see that? It's 7 pi over 8 said another way, isn't it? Yeah, these do cancel sort of. 
They can't. So the answer is 7 pi over 8, sort of. It's 7 pi over 8 set in the zone. Does that make sense? So they really are canceling. But they're canceling, and the answer's got to be in the zone. So that is the same. 7 pi over 8 in this zone is negative pi over 8. All right, how about that one? Tangent. Tangent inverse 14. Is it in the zone or not? It's a trick question. Anybody feeling extremely tricky? Uh, no. I'll give it a, I'll say a yeah. So my, my main question to you is, is that in the zone? Sure. Is it in the zone? And you should say to me, Mr. Heron, it doesn't matter whether that's in the zone, for that's not an angle, buddy. That's what you should say to me. Probably wouldn't be respectful to talk that way, but it's okay. I'd, I'd still be thrilled with the fact that you grabbed the truth so well. That's not an angle. Why not? What, what, do you plug into a tan what do you plug into a regular sine cosine tangent? Remember my toaster, inverse toaster talk? What do you put into a toaster? Bread or froze. You don't put toast into a toaster. That's the whole point. You put in bread. I got toast. I'm going to put it in my toaster. No. The toast comes out of a toaster. You put bread into it, get toast out of it. What do you put into an inverse toaster? Toast, right? Turns it back into bread, right? You with me? So keep that in mind. What do you put into a normal tangent or sine or cosine? An angle. And you get out an answer, right? So an inverse tangent or sine or cosine or whatever, what do you put in? An answer. And you get out an angle. It reverses those, right? That's the whole point of an inverse function. It reverses inputs, out bread and toast, switch roles, right? So therefore, this is being put into the tangent inverse, and then the whole thing's in tangent, but let's don't worry about that right now. Just 14 immediately is being put into tangent inverse, right? Mm -hmm. So what is 14? What, what do you put into tangent inverse? Answer. This is an answer, not an angle. So don't be worried about this. This is for angles, right? So you should say to me, 14 is not an angle. Come on, Heron, 14 is not an angle. We don't care about this angle chart thing here. 14 is an answer. I'd say, well done, right? So yeah, it's in the zone. It's not even an angle. Who cares about the zone? 14, done, next question. They cancel. Yeah, 14, done, next question. I don't got to worry about the zone. That's not even an angle, right? See that? But it's subtle if you're not thinking clearly about the toaster bread thing right? This takes time, doesn't it? It does not come to the casual. That's what I always say. That's the separation for the math science road. If you want it, you can get it, but you got to put time in. So I'm always telling, I tell my own, I'm telling you nothing more than I tell my own, my own daughter who wants to major in that direction. And I'm always telling her, well, it means your life. It means your life. It means you can't play soccer and tennis and have a big social life too much. You got to make this a little bit more your life. If you want to do it, you don't have to do it, but if you want to do it, that's what it takes. That is what it takes. All right. But you guys aren't going to be tricked. All right. Tell me about that 8 pi. Tell me about that 8 pi. And don't, don't, don't look at the pi and think, okay, pi is that radius. Don't, don't, don't think all that. Just look at who he's being put into. Who is he being put into? He's being put in, immediately anyway, into tangent inverse. What do you put into tangent inverse? Answers or angles? Answers, right? That's an answer. It's not an angle. You put angles into regular tangent, answers into inverse, right? So that's an answer. They made it look like an angle, didn't they? By sticking that pi there, they're trying to camouflage it and say, hey, it kind of looks like an angle. It's not an angle. It's being put into tangent inverse. It's an answer. Therefore, I don't, it's the answer. That's it. I don't care about zones. That's, that's not an angle. You only have to worry about the zones for angles, right? Zones are only for angles, right? That was an angle chart. This is an answer, so it's just 8 pi. Whoops, we didn't even get...